Yo guys, it's me, Brain, and just wanted to give you guys a comic book review. So here we go. Uh, for I just wanted to say, for I think some news that I just found out. Um, AT and T might be selling away DC comic books. Um, the company might be selling them off. Uh, they might be selling them off to a different company. Which, if it's true, I hope it's Verizon. Just imagine. Just imagine. Just, just imagine. Verizon with DC Comics. My god, that would be a great deal. Seriously. Oh my god. That would be the best deal ever. Why? Because I'm a Verizon customer. Fuck AT&T. Their their phones are weak as sh are, are weak as shit compared to Verizon. They're weak. I fucking love Verizon. So here we go. Secret Origin for Death Metal was a fucking awesome book, baby. Why? <clears throat> because it gives my boy, my boy, super fucking boy prime. In the spotlight. He deserved it. And he crushed. Crushed. Kicked ass. I mean, my fucking God. He kicked fucking ass. And his origin gets rebooted. You heard me. It gets rebooted. Ten out of ten. Because he kicked the darkest night's ass. I loved it. Uh. 10 out of 10. Oh, God. Oh, God. I love the artwork, but the story <laughs> fucking sucks. The story fucking sucked. 2 out of 10. I gotta say, for the Batman's Grave, it was a hell of a story. There's no Joker, and there's a new villain. And it's none of the Batman rogues galleries. And I fucking love it. 10 out of 10. Amethyst number six was okay. It was not bad. <laughs> As, well, Superman, it had a good premise, and the art was okay. 
I will give it a 9 out of 10 because I'm very generous. Justice League Dark, number 29. Yeah, you heard me on that one. 29. Was okay. It wasn't the best, but it was okay. It just, it missed some some pointers here and there, but it was an okay issue, and I will give it a 10 out of 10, because it was fun and enjoyable. Black Adam, number one, for the Black Adam special, was fucking awesome. 10 out of 10. It was awesome. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 52. Screw the name change. I'm calling it Red Hood and the Outlaws, number two. Sorry, 52. Screw the name change. I fucking love the original title. Screw you guys. Screw DC for giving him a two-issue miniseries after the 50-plus issues of Scott Liddell. Screw you! I will give it a 5 out of 10. Because screw you, DC. <clears throat> and let's see. Oh yeah, screw you, DC. Batman Superman number 15. was okay. It was okay. It wasn't the best. <sighs> nor did I expect it to be. It was fun and enjoyable and I loved, loved reading this. Ten out of ten. Batman White Knight Presents Harley Quinn Book 3. I fucking love this book. I think that Sam, or sorry, that uh, Sean Murphy knows who Harley Quinn is. She's a fun and enjoyable character. Not some SJW Butt wipe. I'll, I'll repeat this again. Harley Quinn is not an SJW butt wipe. And I'm speaking through a true fan's perspective. Fuck SJWs. I'm sorry, your cause is killing multiple industries, including comics. Stop being a fucking SJW and realize that your cause isn't improving anything. Realize it and get rid of it. I'm done. Of these SJW political bullshit in everything, including comics. Get rid of it. You have a new decade to get rid of it. Like, starting now. Get rid of it. You can still be liberal, 
but keep it to yourself. Don't post it on anything. Don't make videos about that. Don't post it on social media. Keep it to yourself. No one wants to hear you if you're being a SJW weirdo. I'm sorry if it offends you. But you know what? You know what? You shouldn't be offended by anything that doesn't need to be offended by. I'm sorry if it offends you, but you know what? Grow the fuck up. Grow up. <clears throat> you are acting like little man-childs. Grow up. <clears throat> and for all the ladies out there who are SJWs, you're acting like a little girl. Grow up. But enough about my ranting for the SJW political bullshit nonsense. <laughs> I enjoyed this book. If there was a Harley Quinn series coming after goddamn awful future state, I would buy it, but in a periodical form. Fuck your digital comics there, DC. You don't need them. You don't need to be digital. You don't need it. You're going to kill off the periodical comics. And you're going to kill off many people that rely on them. Customers, comic book stores, everything. You don't need... To kill off periodicals. Just digital. And I will be fucking happy if you did that. Which you won't. Which is a bad, bad decision making on business. Bad. But this, this is a good comic. And I will give this a 10 out of 10. The artist and writer both understand... Who Harley Quinn is. Batman Beyond 50. The final issue of Batman Beyond. Ugh. This is another reason why I want to say screw you to DC. They can't keep their characters straight. But I gotta say this. For the final issue of Batman Beyond, it was a good book. It was a good damn fucking book. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if in a couple of years from now, they revisit this concept and have it Batman Beyond 3.0 or Batman Beyond 4.0. Because I'm pretty sure if they have periodical comics, because fuck your digital comics book, sorry, fuck your digital comic books, DC, I will never buy a fucking digital comic book in my fucking life. Get over it, DC! Move to periodicals! Do it now! That's where your biggest money seller is. Not fucking digital comic books. Move the fuck over. And if AT&T can't comprehend, then you can go ahead and cut them the fuck off. Tell Warner Media or your big bosses at Warner Brothers to go ahead and cut the deal at AT&T because they can't fucking understand periodical comic books. <sighs> I'm done. I am done with AT&T. They can go ahead and dig themselves into a grave for all I fucking care. The only 
subsidiary that I will save when AT&T eventually falls into the fucking ground is DC Comics. Everything else, I don't fucking care. But for this, a 10 out of 10. The story was great. It was the best comic book in decades. And I fucking loved it. 10 out of 10. Wonder Woman number 769. I fucking loved it. I fucking loved it. And you know what? You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Right there. The end. Next. Future State. They're never... They are never going to end a Wonder Woman comic book. They will never end Wonder Woman comic books. Or Batman, or Superman, or any of the other Justice League members. They will never end... Why the fuck did you put the end and have a fucking question mark? God... Fucking don't understand comic books. <sighs> ten out of ten. I'm gonna skip this book because this was fucking awful. <laughs> awful. As all hell. It sucked. It sucked. Ten, or sorry, zero, uh, five out of ten. Here is the good, good stuff. The Spectre, Infinite Crisis Aftermath. Mm. Aftermath, sorry. Number one. When it was two ninety nine to buy, yeah, I remember when comic books were two ninety nine. You want to know how much a comic book cost? Three ninety nine, and it can get, and it can go even higher than that. They got no set goals. It can go to a five ninety nine comic book. It just they don't have a set goal. They don't have a set price range anymore. And it sucks. <clears throat> but I will say this. The Spectre, Infinite Crisis, Aftermath, number one. Fucking awesome. 10 out of 10. Villains United, number two out of six. I fucking loved. Why? Well, let's just say... The price range over there is $2.50... But that was in 2005. Not only that, but I fucking love this cover. It's fucking awesome. You got Cheshire here. Yes, she's a woman. Yes, she has a beautiful body and, well, let's just say other stuff. <clears throat> and, fun fact, Cheshire doesn't have any real superpowers. She only has nail, well, basically nail polish uh, laced with poison. That's it. No real inherent superpowers. She has poison 
in her nail polish that she uses to inflict on other people. And then there's Deadshot. <laughs> he never, never misses. And I love it. The story was fucking amazing as all hell. And... Well, I don't really have anything else to say. It was pretty fucking awesome. 10 out of 10. Villains United, number one. From uh, June 2006. The other one was June 2005. Or sorry, August of 2005. <sighs> I loved it. Yes, it it's a four ninety nine comic book. But that's when specials were really cheap. This comic book, I will declare it a 10 out of 10 because it was awesome. Outsiders number 30. Oh, sorry, Judd Winnick's Outsiders number 30. Yeah, you can see the cover for uh, the Outsiders. You can see one of the seven deadly sins. Uh, let's just say... Touching. Inappropriately. With katana. If you know who, if you don't know who Katana is, it, she's this girl right here, this Japanese woman. Basically, she has a sword that, if it stabs you or kills you, you do not go to heaven or hell. You go into the sword because the sword steals your soul. It's the soul taker. And I fucking love it. Uh, I will give this a 10 out of 10. Because the artwork on the cover. Besides this part right here. Where it looks like he's touching. Or sorry. One of the seven deadly sins is touching Katana on her leg. Inappropriately. <coughs> I will give it a 10 out of 10. The story and art was fantastic. And I just loved it. From start to finish. Xenobrood! <laughs> Xenobrood! Number two! Xenobrood! Zeno Brood, number two. Zeno Brood. <coughs> I loved it. I loved the story of the Zeno Brood. Because, oh my god, it is 1990s fantasized all in one comic book. And I fucking love it. I mean, you have a security guard with power armor. If you don't know what power armor is, it was a thing in the 90s. <clears throat> like. Every superhero to every citizen had 
some sort of power armor. And the story <clears throat> and the artwork, yes, even though it's outdated, but whatever, I don't care, was fucking awesome. And I will give this a 10 out of 10. And that will be it for my comic book review for right now. This is going to be part one <clears throat> of my comic book review for this week. So, just wanting to give you guys this video. And if I don't see you guys for Christmas... Have a Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays! From Chillicious... Ch yeah, I changed my name. Chillicious Nerd Magarine. Happy Holidays! Cheers! And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!